I'm going to do some floor mat cleaning. I'll give you a better view of that. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. But my favorite cup. And I'm doing I'm spraying floor mats. I've always already had uh, rinsed them off the water, kind of get the heavy dirt off. Now I'm spraying this tire cleaner on it. Um, I'm not sure if, if it's supposed to be used on cloth or floor mats, but we we'll see. If uh, it isn't and it ruins them, I'll just buy some new ones. I'm not too worried. Uh, well, there are three pairs, or three sets, front and back, for um, three different cars. Better move my coffee cup or I'll get it full of bleach white tire cleaner. I'm really interested in what's in it. I should have looked. Um, where's the ingredients? Danger. Yeah. Oh boy. I'm going to die. Uh, boy, it doesn't show. It doesn't show what's in it. But, okay. I don't have no clue what this is going to do to cloth, but I've got enough extras that I think probably be able to bird poop. And you feed the birds and all they do is come back and poop on your stuff. Oh, sorry, I said poop, uh, YouTube. Uh, forgive me, or I have sinned. Hey, okay. It's a really fairly, fairly good shape. My workbench is door out of the some water off out of the last bedroom in our house, the three bedroom house. And that table here is from that room. I was going to throw it in the dump. I thought, you know, it makes a pretty good workbench. Saves me a little money. I'm sure none of you out there have to save money. I'm not a rich man, but I got enough for what I need. Spray the rubber ones here. Okay, I'm going to spray the rubber on these. I already sprayed the everything once, but give another coat. Let it set in a little bit. And I'm gonna going to uh, get a brush here. I'll be right back. Okay. Here, I'll scrub them. It's going to do me good. It's kind of wore out. Uh, I think these are from our car, the 2005 Taurus. And it's really low mileage. Pretty good shape. I'll probably have that. We'll probably have that car. Yeah, it goes with the junkyard. Much for buying and selling cars. I uh, got the MG. I wanted another project. But I need another project. My project, partially, um, 
are in your monitor house. Uh, in the last bedroom. Uh, I just have this had a camera on that to uh, I gotta step it up. Right now it's stained. It's clear on it. And uh, I'm gonna turn it white, white. Um, to make it white. Look at that. My door trim, my window trim changed. When I, uh, when I started, I'm gonna try that. Cat's sitting there in it. Let's see if I can get you over there. There we go. That's old body. She's our last cat. Hopefully, there she is. She's a great cat. Um, had a little story about her. Uh, I'll go back here in my project and then you'll be able to. I'll talk to you about Muffy. Um, let me finish this last. Buffy is a neighbor's cat. Um, she three, got three houses down. And, and uh, she's around the neighborhood. The lady thought cats outside. She had two dogs, too. Okay, I'm going to spray that. Well, Buffy uh, she's doing this, um, is running the streets, and she comes to our place once a while. She, we had, I think, two cats at a time. Yeah, because our oldest one, Sydney, had died by that time. You kind of feel like that. Buffy took the place of Sydney, which was our oldest cat. He was a Burmese Siamese mix, great cat. And uh, let's see here, I gotta go get my nozzle. I'll be right back. And uh, Buffy, back to the cat story. Buffy, um, she it was in winter time. Uh, Sydney had died that August, but as he put down, he was getting old. Um, but, but a week or two after, um, Buffy kept coming around. And it ended that August or first part of September, and then it got to be winter time. Well, my wife and I, many, many times. Taking Buffy back to her owner and owner to friend, and that was fine. It was good. Well, that's the point. Taking back Buffy back. And by the way, her the real name is Marge. My first name. So we call her Buffy. Um, but she got the point where we got the point where we felt like you know, so we took her in, and I think she got out two times and ran come back down there, but she never, she just looked around and come back to our house, but um, then she still went out, she got it out, and then one night, it was a cold, cold winter night, and uh, I heard this, this was blizzard and it was really cold, it was, I heard this knock against that front door, and go, who in the world would be out in there? I looked the door and I looked down and I looked down and I spoke that. The bus was sitting there, leaning up against the front door, shaking. It sounded like somebody was banging on the door. So we took her in. But then, you know, it still really didn't feel like we should take her permanently. She's again. That now it was a lot better than the other one, but so the other one now. We used to get them mixed up again. And time is worth more in those mountains.
Okay, now it's time to wrap up the holes.